well, we seem to keep performing well in the algorithm or whoever that was. So we're back with part three of Start Bench Cut for the NBA. So how this works is I search on YouTube, find some YouTube posts where someone's like, which player would you have right now between these three players? So we start one, so they're starting on the team, one coming off the bench and one getting cut entirely. If you are new to this format, feel free to play along in the comments section below. So let's get into this. So first one we have here, we have Lamelo Ball, Drew Holiday, and Jamal Murray, NBA champion Jamal Murray. I will start Jamal Murray for that reason that he just won a championship and he looked pretty good at the number two to Nikola Jokic in the, the NBA playoffs in the finals specifically. Looking really, really good. Um, Jamal Murray is who I'm starting. I think I will have Drew Holiday come off the bench. You know, he's a good veteran. He has, I think he's still good defensively, not a lot of ability. And Romero Ball, I will cut because uh, I think he has a little bit of an injury history. I also think that Holiday is better than Ball. So that's why I'm having Holiday come off the bench and I'm cutting uh, Romero. So next one, let's get into some players that were just drafted. So I have no nothing about these people. We have Grady Dick. We have uh, Kaysen Wallace and Anthony Black. Now, I have I never watched college basketball, so I barely know who these players are. So this, this could be a complete hot take in like three, four years when they prove me wrong. And if you know anything about Frost, but good, good for you, because I don't. So let's let's start Anthony Black. Uh, I guess by because we have the same first name. Sure, let's go with that. So starting Anthony Black. And uh, Grady Dick is coming off the bench because I've actually heard of you. And Case and Wallace, I'm cutting because I've never heard of your name once. Okay, great. Moving on. We have John Collins, uh, Aaron Gordon, and Miles Turner. I think I will start... Ooh, I'll start Miles Turner, honestly. Uh, I think he's a good defensive center for the Pacers. And he he's a little bit capable on the offensive side of the ball, too. They, they keep talking about trading them every single two minutes, it feels like. At least back in the day, it felt like every other season. They're like, let's trade Miles Turner for something. Um, but, no, I think he's pretty good on the Pacers. I'm going to have Aaron Gordon come off the bench. And because that was his role in the NBA Finals, and he did pretty good at coming off the bench in the Finals. So he can't be that bad for this team. And I guess I'm cutting John Collin. Uh, maybe he's a bit overrated. I mean, I, I don't really know because he's also one of the players that they, they've been talking about trading forever. And then they finally trade him to the Jazz for Rudy Gay. So we'll see how he does in Utah this upcoming season. But it, this might turn out to be a, a wrong hot take. And now we have the big boys. Okay, we have Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, Luka Doncic. Start bench cut. This is the hardest thing ever. I, mm, I, mm, I didn't. You see, I don't really think about it beforehand. So this is spontaneous. I'm going to start. Doncic. I'm going to start Luka, okay? Now, I know he has not won an MVP, and Jokic has won two of them, and Embiid has won one. But uh, Luka Doncic is still, I think, the best player in the NBA. That might be a hot take. I just love Luka Magic. And un until something happens where he's not the best player and he doesn't amaze me on a nightly basis, I, I don't think... Um, I don't think I'm not going to start him. So then I'm going to have Nikola Jokic come off the bench. You know, two-time MVP, NBA champion. You know, just great. He graded everything. He great from the field, from three. From the field, he graded everything. And then I'm going to have Joel Embiid, I guess, get cut. Because um, doesn't he have some kind of injury history or something like that? No, he does have an MVP. I thought I should have gone to Jokic. Uh, he not successful in the playoffs, but you could say the same thing about Luka, but uh, call it bias, whatever you want. And then the last one we have here, we have, let's see, we have Jalen Williams, Michael Porter Jr., and OG Ananobi. I'm starting Jalen Williams. I really liked his rookie season last year, and I think he's just going to progress and become a better and better player at the year going on, so I'm starting Jalen Williams. Um, I'm taking OG Ananobi off the bench, okay? I'll explain why in a for Michael Porter Jr. in a second, but OG and Anovi, um, one of those consistent players on the Raptors that's all, that's all, that's all the little things, at least I think he does, who, and, like, helps lead to winning basketball, and I just like OG a lot, and so Michael Porter Jr., he did not impress me much in the NBA Finals, because sometimes he was streaking hot, sometimes he was really, really cold, and he was really, really cold in the playoffs, and over the past couple of years, he just has not impressed me on the court. So that's why I'm cutting Michael Porter Jr. But, you know, he, all three guys are very talented basketball players. I just think I'm really high on Jalen Williams. That's why I'm starting him. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments.